G'day Marshmallows and welcome back to the Coco Couch. We are watching Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. We just watched the two first movies. Those were super, super fun. I'm totally invested in this universe. Um, I think the thing I really liked the most about the two first movies was just the chemistry that the three, um, Ron, Hermione and Harry had together. I just found them super fun whenever they were all on screen. But I really love the character development that Harry Potter's going through. Just the different trials he's facing and the fact that he's trying to basically come to grips with the fact that he's got traits of like a Slytherin. Um, and the fact that he shared so much with Tom Riddle. Um, it's really interesting to see a character that's so like righteous and has such good values and but is also really adventurous and um, loyal to his friends to also struggle with such a dark sort of side to his character. It's really, really interesting. I've heard that this one is a lot of people's favorite movie, so I'm trying not to get too hyped about it, but I am fairly excited just because so far I've loved the first two movies, so I can't imagine how good this one's gonna be. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump into it. Mate, this intro is a lot darker and stripped back in terms of music. Oh, practicing magic at home? Lumos Maxima! <laughs> this is what I expect from Harry, our protagonist, to be learning spells when he's not supposed to be. I thought this was illegal in the wizarding world. A bit more. Mate, Harry's being treated terribly. Also, can I just say the movie's far less saturated? Everything just looks a slightly more dull. It's all to do with blood. Bad blood will out. Oh, no. And a drunk too, no doubt. My dad wasn't a drunk. <laughs> Ooh. You see it all the time with dogs. If there's something wrong with the bitch, then there's something wrong Whoa. with the pup. Shut up! Gee! Let me tell you. I was about to say, look how fat her hands are. <laughs> is, it, is it me? Am I stupid? I thought you couldn't do magic like this unless you used a wand. Oh, she's not just getting fat. It's like she's floating. <laughs> yeah, that would be traumatizing. <laughs> I love the chaos. It makes me happy. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> the way he's like, sorry. <laughs> like, you're not worth it. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, you better get out of here, Harry. Mm, I know, right? Where do you go? It's a shame he can't just use a spell to communicate with Ron or someone to help let him stay with the Weasleys. Is he in danger? Oh, I sense he is in danger. <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh, uh, a magic school bus? <laughs> what you doing down there? Fell over. What you fell over for? I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> what do you mean? I didn't do it on purpose. What you looking at? Nothing. A wolf. It didn't look like just a wolf, though. It was like a big wolf. Yeah, take it away, Ernie. It's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> the Jamaican. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is serious black. That is... He's a murderer. Knocked up in Azkaban for an exabotera. Oh, shoot. So this guy's the prisoner? Serious black? Oh, boy. Mind your head. Oh, goodness. Guys, why the long faces? <laughs> Poor Harry, man. <laughs> that was hilarious, though. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. <laughs> Magic reversal department was dispatched immediately. She has been properly... <laughs> this guy's so nice. I love it. No harm done. I broke the law. Yeah. The ministry doesn't send people to Azkaban for blowing up their aunt. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Just the comedic timing of the lowering the head. We have a killer on the loose. Mm. But what's he got to do with me? Nothing, of course. What do you mean? If he worked for Voldemort, then of course he has something to do with you. But it would be best if you didn't uh, wander. Harry does not do a good job at not wandering. <laughs> Hmm. Typical. Oh, that's their pets, of course. Harry! Oh, 
What's it like? Brilliant. Loads of old stuff like mummies, too. <laughs> that makes sense why Harry couldn't stay with them. It's all of your books? Yeah, it's all upstairs. <laughs> all of your clothes? Everything's there. Good boy. Can she, can he, she just adopt him, please? You are in danger. When you stopped, you know who. Black lost everything. You are the only thing that stands in the way of you know who returning to power. Yeah, of course, right? You won't go looking for Black. Why would I go looking for someone who wants to kill me? Look, I don't know, man. Based on your history, <laughs> I think it's worth mentioning it. <laughs> How is it she knows everything? It's on a suitcase, Ronald. Who's this guy in the corner? <laughs> I gotta tell you something. Why would you say something private if he... Oh, man. It is what it is. Shoot. Maybe we've broken down. Oh, <laughs> that answers that question. Gosh. You better lock that door, mate. Oh, it's freezing. Bro, this is... This is creepy. Hey. No, that's the grim freaking reaper. What the heck? Hey, what's it doing to him? Gee, thanks for jumping in and helping, mate. Far out. What a legend. Did it like suck out part of his soul or something? It'll help. It was a Dementor, one of the guards of Azkaban. I need to have a little word with the driver. Yeah, I know, right? Why the heck did it come after Harry? Eat. You'll feel better. This guy seems kind of friendly. The beginning of this movie compared to the last two is like way darker. Like that was a dark jump between the first and second movie. So far, it's like leaped. In <laughs> Look at that, a tone choir. I love it. I love their expressions. Welcome to another year at Hogwarts. Now, I That's right, they recast Dumbledore, didn't they? Magical creatures teacher for many years. Rubius Hagrid. Hagrid! He got a job? Nice. <laughs> he is quite large, isn't he? <laughs> Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. If one only remembers to turn on the light. That's a cool quote. I like that. <laughs> oh, bravo, bravo. Oh, don't try one of them. Oh, no. <laughs> I guess that is how you'd probably spend your first night back at Hogwarts with your mates, right? Just goofing off. Oh, good lord. Oh, that's terrifying. The contrast, though, between the happiness of inside Hogwarts and the dullness of outside Hogwarts was cool. Oh, the tree just kill a bird. We shall cast ourselves into the future. I'm on her wavelength. <laughs> What's poor Neville, man? You have the grim. Excuse me. What's the omen of death? Shoot. Mate. You have to be in two classes at once. Don't be silly, Ronald. How could anyone be in two classes at once? She didn't deny it. She's probably doing something <laughs> sketchy. Isn't he beautiful? Oh, damn. Say hello to Buckbeak. Hello, Buckbeak. Hippogriff, that they're very proud creatures. Who'd like to come and say hello? <laughs> well done, Harry. Well done. Ah. Oh, I love it. Harry gets picked on, but everyone else wusses, basically. Back off, Harry. Back off. Yes, come on. That's nuts. Their first lesson with Hagrid's like life or death. <laughs> well, whoa. <laughs> well done. Nice. Well done. They let you write them now. What? Come on. <laughs> Damn, just like that. No saddle, nothing. Everyone's gonna forget about the Dementors if this is the first thing you do. Right. Tapping into our, our want to fly. Oh yeah, you have to do it. You have to do it, yeah. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, let's watch him get absolutely destroyed by this thing. Yes, you know dangerous at all are you this guy is an idiot <laughs> damn dude how dumb are you it's killed me it's killed me oh, 
gosh, dude. Oh, you're gonna regret this. Bastard. Are you serious, dude? He told you not to come at it like that. I hate how he got hurt, but he could be able to turn it into a way of, you know, getting back at Hagrid. As to what is inside. That's a bug again. Okay, I'm doing an experiment. I don't see Hermione there. This is just me checking because of what happened last scene. No one knows. When she get here? Boggarts are shapeshifters. Okay, something's up with Hermione. What really finishes a boggart is laughter. Uh, Neville, will you join me, please? Oh boy, of course Neville has to do this. <laughs> what frightens you most of all? Professor Snape. Professor Snape. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. Imagine Professor Snape in your grandmother's clothes. Nice. This is such a real sort of classroom interaction, though. Yeah. <laughs> think, never think. Ridiculous! <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's super interesting. I love this. Wouldn't it be so fascinating to gr to grow up going to this school? Be <laughs> brave. Oh gosh! No! Good lord! The fact it's like a giant red back. Yes! <laughs> well done. See? Wow, so you have to be creative with it too. Oh shoot! Ridiculous! What happened there? These visits to Hogsmeade Village are a privilege. Isn't Hogsmeade the place they said they saw Sirius Black last? Yes, I assumed it would take the shape of Lord Voldemort. I remembered that night on the train and the Dementor. That suggests that what you fear the most is fear itself. That's so interesting. I recognized you immediately. Not by your scar, by your eyes. By your mother, Lily's. Oh, that's, that's so cute. Your father, he had a certain, shall we say, talent for trouble. Harry has all of it. You're I more like them than you know, Harry. In time, you'll come to see just how much. That's beautiful. Harry's been recognized all this time because of his fame, and now it's by someone who just knew his mum. The fat lady, she's gone. Not funny, Ron. Nice. Also, I like that Harry fears fear itself. It's like, of course he does. He's a Gryffindor. That's like, he's so brave that he fears fear. It's him, headmaster. No. Serious black! <laughs> Good lord. Yep, this is when you start to round up the kids. <laughs> hmm. I love the changing of the seasons being represented through seeing this tree. <laughs> he's so extra. No light at all. Turn to page 394. He's so good. Animagus and a werewolf. An animagus is a wizard who elects to turn into an animal. Werewolf has no choice. That is the second time you've spoken out of turn, Miss Granger. You take pride in being an insufferable know-it-all. Damn. What? Then I suggest you take extra care, Mr. Potter. <laughs> I feel so sorry for Hermione because I feel like the reason why she studies so much is because she grew up in a muggle, like a muggle family, right? Of course, even the game is darker in this movie. Damn. What happens? Does he just die if something like that happens? Come on, Harry. Oh no, 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 get, get out of there, get out of there, dude, it's the Dementor. Oh, Oi, oh. Someone save him, please. Arresto momentum. <laughs> Damn, Dumbledore, saving him. It sort of blew into the Whomping Willow and... Ah. The Dementors affect you most of all because there are true horrors in your past. Perhaps I should teach you. For now, I need to rest. Yeah, Harry needs some special treatment, I think, as far as learning how to stand on his own against these things. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. <laughs> this is Hogwarts. Is that really Dumbledore? Any steady pacing does that a lot. He can spy on people? One-eyed witch passageway. It'll lead you straight to Honeyduke's cellar. When you're done, just give it a tap and say, Mischief managed. Otherwise anyone can read it. Nice. That's so nice that they gave it to him. Like, they've, they had no other reason other than just because they felt like Harry needed it more. <laughs> ah, poor Neville, man. He's copping it in this movie. It's meant to be the most haunted building in Britain. Oh, wow. Well, look who's here. I think it's time we teach Weaselby how to respect his superiors. Excuse me? Nothing at all. 
mudblood. Gosh, dude. Good thing Harry's turned up, apparently, <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't understand how Draco's still so arrogant, despite the fact he always gets treated like this in these movies. Like, he's humiliated so much. Harry! <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell, Harry. But Harry isn't going to keep it. He's going to turn it over to Professor McGonagall. Aren't you? Wow, Hermione. <laughs> I think you should know, Hermione, that at this point you need everything that you get given. When Harry Potter's parents realized they were marked for death, do you remember? They went into hiding. Few knew where they were. One who did, Sirius Black. And he told you know who. Oh. Remember him, never let James and Sirius out of his sight. But what happened? Dude, you're so loud. Black was vicious. He didn't kill Pettigrew. He destroyed him. That all was left to finger. Sirius Black was Harry Potter's godfather. Oh. Okay, that's a revelation. Wait, the acting though from the three adults in that scene was really good. Oh, poor Harry. Yeah, this is when you need your friends with your buddy. He was that friend! Damn. I'm gonna be ready. When he does, I'm gonna kill him. Hey, he's done waiting, isn't he? <laughs> It would be interesting to see Harry's character become a little bit more, oh. like, aggressive throughout the movies. Now, the spell I'm going to try to teach you is called the Patronus Charm. Did you ever hear of it? Ah, oh, I've heard of that one before. Yeah. You need to think of a memory, a very happy memory. I feel like that's harder for kids, though. <sighs> this is sketchy. Oh! Come on, buddy. Come on. Right. Come on. Sit up. Dude didn't think about his memory hard enough. I didn't expect you to do it the first time. What were you thinking? The first time I rode a broom. No. Meeting Ron and Hermione or something. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, mate. Come on. Come on. Expecto Patronum. Expecto Patronum. There you go. Come on. Come on, Harry. Well done, Harry. Yes. Well done. They were talking to me. I don't even know if it's real. Must have been a pretty crazy memory then. I can't remember anything from when I was a baby. Lucius Malfoy got up. Well, you can imagine. Buckbeak was a deadly and dangerous creature who would kill you. Buckbeak's been sentenced to death. No. Are you serious? Just for hurting Malfoy? That is ridiculous, man. Oh, shoot. He's there? Oh, so he's invisible too. Okay. Oh, dude, 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 dude not Snape. Potter. <laughs> Reveal your secrets. Oh, no. And request that he keep his abnormally large nose out of other people's business. Work. Shoot! Lupin. Out for a little walk. <laughs> Harry! That remains to be seen. <laughs> He's so extra! <laughs> Parchment designed to insult anyone who tries to read it. He's Harry, would you come with me, please? Professor? Good. Oh, I love it. Harry's like the teacher's pet with this guy. I love it. I am astounded that you didn't hand it in. Gambling their sacrifice by wandering around the castle unprotected with a killer on the loose seems to me a pretty poor way to repay them. Gee. No, I will not. It showed someone in the castle. Someone I know to be dead. Peter Pettigrew. It's not possible. I'm glad he told somebody. Also, I love teachers like that, that are like, they are very friendly with you and like they champion you on, but also like if you step out of line, they're like really stern with you. I can't believe they're going to kill Buckbeak. It's just too horrible. He's an executioner. You, you foul and loathsome them evil little cockroach. Hermione. Yeah, for real. Just like that, he shrivels up. What a wuss. He is just a coward underneath. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Hermione. Well deserved. Brilliant. <laughs> Damn, that sounded like it hurt too. Blimey. Gosh. What was that? Ow! <laughs> Someone throwing pebbles. Oh, we're just gonna forget that someone just threw pebbles at him? <laughs> Wait. 
These three, like, what the heck, man? I mean, I know that's what the movies are about, right? But still, it's just dumbfounding to me that, that these three just always end up in these situations. I thought I just saw... Maybe it was the person throwing pebbles. <laughs> Maybe it's, uh, Sirius Black. Oh, gee. Don't third wheel, Harry. <gasps> hey! Why'd he bite him? Realize what tree this is. Run! Run! Yeah, dude, get out of the way! Come on, run! Hey! Okay, alright. <laughs> oh no, run! <laughs> Damn. Why do they still have this tree? Well, that's an efficient way of getting in the hole. <laughs> Come on. Oh, this is that haunted shack. Okay. He's an animagus. Oh, shoot. Well, well, serious. Looking rather ragged, aren't we? <laughs> Wait, they're on the same team? Wait, so Snape was right. He's a werewolf. That's why he's been missing classes. You really are the brightest witch of your age I've ever met. She is. Come on, come on, Peter! Come on, come on and play! Snape! Come on, Snape! Yes, come on, mate. Come on. The Dementors kiss. One can only imagine what that must be like to endure. Said to be nearly unbearable to witness. But I'll do my best. Mate! His performance. Expelliarmus! No! Harry! We thought he was our friend. What are you trying You're to do kidding to him? Me. This entire time, Peter Pettigrew has been a rat. <laughs> oh, good lord. Look at this guy. My old friend! <laughs> this guy would be insane. I would have died rather than betray my friend. James wouldn't have wanted to be killed. Oh, Dad. Ew. But we'll take the castle. Bless you, boy. Sorry about the bite. Mate. I reckon that twinges a bit. After all that hatred to the movie and he spares him. Right, so it's the reason they're being so hostile was a trick it was a trick Peter Pettigrew, is that right? Mm. Poor Snape though. <laughs> well I can understand if you choose to stay where you are, Uncle. But if you ever wanted a different home, come and live with you. Do it. Oh, that's right. He's a werewolf. Dude, run, run. Get out of here. Oh, shoot. Ah, you know that. Oh, and Peter's gonna get away, is he? <laughs> no. Oh, gosh. Dude, I think it's hostile. Oh, come on, Sirius. Yes. Right, because Sirius is in control, right? Come back here, Mate. James Potter had some interesting mates. Nice. Oh, God. <laughs> that kind of sounded like Hermione. <laughs> this whole movie is so creepy. It's, it's, the whole thing's been, like, dull. Sirius! Oh, come on, man. Really? Now? Gosh, dude. These frickin' Dementors. Oh, gosh, man. Things just went from bad to worse. <laughs> yes, that's right. Come on. Yes, mate. I don't know if you can keep off hundreds of them, though. Uh... Oh, gosh. Bro, what? Bro, did he just die? Excuse me? Damn! <gasps> Is that like his life force or something like that? Oh. That was a wizard. Oh, now I'm curious. <laughs> 
And Master, you've got to stop them. They've got the wrong man. It's true, sir. Please believe us. I do, Miss Granger. A child's voice, however honest and true, is meaningless. Oh, bro. <laughs> Poor Ron. Sirius Black is in the topmost cell of the Dark Tower. You must not be seen. If you succeed tonight, more than one innocent life may be spared. Three turns should do it, I think. Excuse me? When in doubt, I find retracing my steps to be a wise place to begin. What the bloody hell was that all about? Yeah, basically. <laughs> that was a slap and a half. Wait, she has like a time machine like necklace? You're kidding me. Come on, and we can't be seen. That's insane. So this- Come on. No, okay. Okay, okay. This is interesting. So we're getting the entire last day, but we're getting it basically redone. McGonagall gave it to me first term. This is how I've been getting to my lessons all year. McGonagall gave her that? Fudge has to see Buckbeat before we steal him. Otherwise, he'll think Hagrid set him free. Oh, so they're gonna free it and distract him. We aren't leaving. They throw it? Oh. Oh, it totally makes sense. Ow. Right, okay. So actually, the previous day, they were there the whole time. So it's a time loop. Okay. The last thing I was expecting in this movie was a time loop. That's so cool. I love how the entire time you hear the ticking. I just picked up on that. Oh, shoot. That's who she almost saw herself. <laughs> come on, get the nice dead ferret. Nice. Come on. come on, come on, come on. Come on, Beaky. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. I had anything to do with this, Hagrid. After all, how could you? You've been with us all the time. There you go. Dumbledore knows exactly what's up. I'd like a nice cup of tea or a large <laughs> brandy. Your services are no longer required. <laughs> Okay, so that's why we saw that earlier. Makes sense why we never actually saw it happen. I thought it was trying to be child-friendly, the movie, by not showing us the actual decapitation. It's brilliant. I did see someone made the Dementors go away. Only a really powerful wizard could have conjured it. It was my dad. It was my what? dad who conjured the Patronus. Sorry, your, your dad's dead, what? I know. You saw your dad. Well, I have a theory and I think it's pretty likely what's gonna happen. <laughs> That's cool, the moon coming out. Talk about a life-threatening situation. Oh, you're kidding me! This is- Oh, okay. Yep. Nice. You better get out, though, now. <laughs> Gee, that thing looks horrifying. Oh, bro. Oh, that's awful. Oh, this is like troll scene in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, you're done. You're done. Oh, thank God. Yes. I forgot his name. Mr. Beak, we'll call him. Damn. Come on, Harry. You know you have to do this. <laughs> My dad will come. He'll come to the Patronus. You can't wait for your dad. Your dead dad, buddy. You gotta take action yourself. Be brave. Yes, come on. Impulsive. Let's go. Expecto Patronum! Come on, Harry. <laughs> what is he thinking of? Mate. And Hermione gets to see it. Cool. Mate. That's so cool that he's the one who did it. <laughs> That's insane. What a freaking scene, though, to see all of this stuff unfold. It wasn't my dad I saw earlier. It was me. I saw myself conjuring the Patronus before. Yeah, because you look like your dad. <laughs> Damn, Hermione. Right, so, okay, so Sirius has to be basically hidden now because he's wanted, I'm assuming. My mother's eyes. You can always find them in here. Oh, what a legend. He did not give off that vibe the first time we met this character. Awesome. 
tied up all loose ends. Everyone goes home free. No one's dead. <laughs> well? He's free. We did it. Did what? Good night. <laughs> Yes, Dumbledore. He wasn't even phased. He just turns around and sees him immediately. Oh, that's oh, that's freaking awesome. Who I was talking to you there. No, you're there. What's he talking about, Harry? Honestly, Ron, how can somebody be in two places at once? Oh, you better tell him every detail. Don't leave him in the dark. That there's no way. This tree, man, just killing all the birds. I resign, actually. Is it somebody? Let slip the nature of my condition. Was it Danny Snape? Me. None of it made any difference. Pettigrew escaped. It didn't make any difference. Harry, it made all the difference in the world. Yeah, what about you Sirius? Know, I feel no guilt whatsoever about giving this back to you. <laughs> Interesting how we didn't really get any villains in this movie. Like, just Peter Pettigrew, really. But there wasn't a very dominating antagonist in this. Because Sirius Black was innocent. Wherever did you get it? Come on, have a go, Harry. After you, of course. Oh, did he get a new broomstick? I bet. It's a firebolt. It's the fastest broom in the world. This came with it. A quill? Why? Go, buddy, go. <laughs> Damn, that thing is fast. <laughs> really? Just ant like that? Well, I can see why it gets all the praise, this one. Far out. Okay, well, I know I've only seen three Harry Potter movies, but this one's definitely my favorite so far. We'll see if it maintains that position the more movies I watch. But far out, mate. I think what was so surprising about this movie was just how sudden the time sort of loop concept just came out of the left field. I just didn't really expect that to happen. The whole thing was building up to some sort of like maybe a showdown between Sirius and Harry Potter. And then just for... You know, I felt like the whole part with um, the execution and then going to the shack. Yeah, just, just the interaction between those three wizards mainly and the kids in the shack. That just, I thought that that was the climax of the film. It really felt like that we were building up to that point and it was going to end pretty soon afterwards. And then we get like this last 20 minutes of the movie with Hermione and Harry going back and all tying up all these loose ends. Like I was really curious about where those rocks came from that were thrown through the window. And, um, you know, we didn't get to see the decapitation and then some wizard did that huge spell at the end of the movie, the Patronus thing. And then we get to see like Hermione and Harry do all of it in the last 20 minutes. That was awesome. Like I was so excited watching that part. Um, but yeah, no, um, I think it was super interesting too, that there wasn't really a big villain in this one. Um, you know, because you find out that the villains who, you know, you're attached to the idea that's, that Sirius Black is the villain in this movie that's after Harry. And then at the end of the movie, you find out that he's not and he's innocent. Um, I just thought that was super interesting. Um, and just the idea of Harry Potter, his, the most predominant trait that he has is his bravery, right? Um, but then for his worst fear to be fear itself and to be waiting for his dad to save him, but he's got to do it himself. I think it was a great sort of lesson that he had to learn. Based on everything that's happening in these movies, he's growing so fast because of all these life-threatening situations, but this one really took it up a notch. He had to save himself because his dad wasn't going to save him, and he's, he had to face fear itself, which was super interesting. I'm really excited to watch the next movie. Also, I realized that the whole thing with Hermione disappearing and reappearing thing, that, that was also explained that McGonagall gave her that, that watch, I'm sorry, the necklace. Um, that's so cool. I just find that so badass. Just like the idea that you can't, you can't study enough. So you have to go and like basically time travel just to learn more. Like that's so cool. Um, the only thing I would say is it would make sense if there was some sort of rule, like maybe you're not allowed to time travel past a day or something like that. Cause then it, it would fix up, um, loose ends like, um, like maybe they should have gone back in time further, like 30 years or something and kill Voldemort. You know what I mean? Like it make more sense, but I, I, those are just little intricacies, you know, little um, things. But I just had a great time watching this. I can see why people love it so much. The pacing was really, really good. The threats felt a lot worse and the whole tone of the movie just felt so much darker and the whole, um, 
who were they? The, the Dementors? They were flipping creepy. I'm probably going to have nightmares about them. Um, <laughs> they were really scary. Um, but I like that the way that you combat against, like you combat them, is to think about something that makes you happy. Um, but it's not like a Peter Pan sort of like, think a happy thought. It's like a, you have to think of something that makes you feel deeply moved with joy. Um, which I really, I really like that. But yeah, no, I had a great time watching this movie. I hope you guys did too. Please like and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Stay cozy.